This week in U.S. immigration news, we are going to cover USCIS guidance for Afghans and Iraqis, LexisNexis under pressure to terminate contract with ICE, lawsuits regarding USCIS backlogs, EB-1 and EB-2 form I-140 petitions, challenges for immigrants seeking abortions, activists urge Biden to abolish ICE. USCIS has updated its policy manual with guidance regarding Afghan and Iraqi seeking special immigrant classification. The new guidance explains that non-citizens seeking an Afghan special immigrant visa on or after July 20, 2022 must file Form DS-157 Petition for Special Immigrant Classification for Afghan SIV applicants with the Department of State when they are applying for Chief of Mission Approval. Employment requirements for Afghan SIV is now one year and USCIS clarifies in its policy what type of employment with the International Security Assistance Force qualifies. The agency updates eligibility criteria for surviving spouses and children of deceased principal non-citizens to expand the scope of who may apply for Afghan and Iraqi SIV. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and LexisNexis, the data broker known for its legal research tools, have had a contract together since last year. A campaign has been aimed to pressure LexisNexis to terminate its contract with ICE because the agency uses the contract to identify pursue and deport undocumented immigrants. Data collected by the immigrant advocacy group Just Futures Law reported that ICE agents used the database over 1.2 million times in seven months of 2021. Over a quarter million of the searches were conducted by ICE's enforcement and removal operations. The agency has also used LexisNexis to collect information on sanctuary city laws. Syracuse University recently published a report indicating that by the end of fiscal year 2022, over 6,000 lawsuits will have been filed against the federal government since FY 2021 to compel action from U.S. immigration authorities. Compared to FY 2021, this is about a 50% increase in lawsuits. A spokesperson from USCIS stated that the agency is seeing a trend in their processing resulting in a 14% drop in the naturalization queue from January to September 2021. The agency also reported a reduction in the number of pending biometrics appointments from 1.4 million in January 2021 to 7,000 as of May 2022. The agency may require more staffing to alleviate the backlogs that were caused by the pandemic, the Trump administration policies, and the hiring freeze. If you are new to our channel, welcome and please subscribe to stay in the loop. We offer free 15-minute consultations if your case is qualified so we can point you in the right direction. Stay tuned for the secret code later in the show. USCIS is implementing the second phase of the premium processing expansion for certain petitioners who have a pending Form I-140, Immigrant Petition for Alien Workers, under the EB-1 and EB-2 classifications. This phase only applies to certain previously filed Form I-140 petitions under an E-13 Multinational Executive and Manager Classification or E-21 Classification as a member of professions with advanced degrees or exceptional ability seeking a National Interest Waiver. To request a premium processing upgrade, petitioners must file Form I-907, Request for Premium Processing Service. Beginning August 1, 2022, USCIS will accept Form I-907 requests for E-13 multinational executive and manager petitions received on or before July 1, 2021 and E-21 NIW petitions received on or before August 1, 2021. After the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, some states have implemented near-to-total abortion bans. Colorado Organization for Latina Opportunity and Reproductive Rights reported a rise in women calling from out-of-state, many Spanish-speaking immigrants, concerned about how their immigration status could impact their ability to access abortions. The different state laws regarding abortion create barriers for immigrant women. Immigrant women now face extra barriers while seeking abortions due to limited English proficiency and immigration status which may completely bar some from crossing state lines. Activists have been pushing President Joe Biden to abolish U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement after it was released that the agency's budgetary deficit caused millions of dollars to be pulled from other programs. The agency has an estimated $345 million shortfall for fiscal year 2022. 
It is likely that the agency will run out of money by October unless the Department of Homeland Security provides more funding. The defund hate campaign, involving 63 civil rights organizations and immigrant rights advocates, are calling for the Biden administration to completely abolish ICE because it is wasting taxpayer money on deporting people that are seeking safety. Friends, show us some love and smash the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have an immigration problem or need a second opinion because you cannot get a hold of your own lawyer, schedule a meeting with our team. Share information with our CARES team and they will help you get scheduled with our legal team. Now here's a secret code to unlock the free 15 minutes.